Jack, well, first of all, uh, three games are in the books. So give us your uh, synopsis after three preseason games. What have you seen? Well, I think overall, I give a lot of credit to our group. Uh, the focus on a daily basis has been there. We've improved every game, and uh, that, that's really what we're trying to uh, get in the scope of going game to game. It's our guys understanding our concepts and a great test tonight of relying on your principles and playing out of your principles. These guys have fought, they've scrapped, they've been in every game coming down to the end. How important is it? I know it's preseason, but to be in a game and, and to pull out a game, even though it's preseason. Well, I, I can't replicate the uh, the situations that produce themselves in the game on a you know serious basis that we can try to in practice. But uh, for Elford Payton to have the basketball, no timeout for me. 14 seconds left to go in the game. He has to make a decision decision on on the fly. Uh, a great situation for him to be in. Have you seen that? Have you seen that fight and these guys scrapping and, and wanting to pull these games out? Without a doubt, it's a great group, uh, a group that's really grown up, and uh, we got a great set of veterans to add uh, to, to our young guys. And uh, overall, their um, I don't know their approach to the game has been pretty pretty good. Is there anything that you look for in Game Four of the preseason that you might not be looking for or not emphasizing as much in Games One, Two, or Three? three. You know, not really. Um, you know, the, the whole preseason kind of changed for us because Shannon and, and Victor are out. Uh, you know, so the plan I had going, you know, that's why this, is, this game is so great. You can lay out whatever plan you want to. You got to be able to have feel and, and react on the fly. Uh, so for us tonight, you know, Willie's been out, so I need to see Willie play. So Willie will get a chance to play. Uh, I need to see Andrew play. Andrew will get a chance to, to play. So uh, is this the onset plan that I had at the beginning of the year when I had all that time to figure everything out and jot it all down and make it look pretty? No, uh, because I didn't plan on Shannon and Victor being hurt or, or Willie. Uh, but we still have some answers to figure out. And the good thing is we, we have some games to do so. What do you know about this, this Flamengo team? I mean, this is the second time this team has ever played an NBA game. Uh, I know they're excited. It means a lot to that country. What are your thoughts when you think about that team? Well, it's a great opportunity to see international basketball, a very well-coached team. And so uh, uh, some of the sets and the things that they run are uh, really clever. Uh, so I enjoy watching it. Uh, they played Phoenix the other night, uh, gave Phoenix a uh, little bit of trouble. And so uh, for us, a great concentration level that uh, we need to bring uh, our energy and effort consistently tonight. Coach, with this international matchup, do you notice any differences between the way they play basketball in Latin America and the way they play in the NBA? I just think overall the international game, uh, we've both uh, been, uh, we've pulled something from each other's game. Uh, and, and I think uh, whether it's you know having uh, multiple ball handlers on the floor, being able to have stretch fours, uh, guys who are, uh, you, you take Walter Herman, who you know played in the NBA and um, you know he'll be on the wing some, he can put it on the bounce. And so you see uh, clever basketball where uh, very, I don't know, thought provoking for me to take a look at it and see the concepts and how, how they work within the concept of a team. So great basketball. On that line, uh, what, do you, what did you see from Vucevic and Evan? What do you see in their games that has a little, yeah. maybe a little twist to it? You take Evan's footwork. Uh, you, you just, you know, take a look at his footwork throughout the course of the game. Just the other night, uh, two nights ago, he finishes a dunk at the rim. He jumps off the what would be opposite foot, what you know, traditional players would go off the left foot. So things in that nature where uh, you know, I was around one of the guys who had one of the best quote unquote Euro steps in the game. Uh, you know, Evan has a great way of getting to the bucket and, and finishing like he did in Indiana. What looks awkwardly maybe to uh, us as you know, American players, uh, overall it's a great I don't know, flair for the game. And then Nick's ability to, um, he's just very skilled. Uh, it's a different mentality, the way they've grown up and been around the game. Well, you obviously played and coached in San Antonio, where Popovich, where they literally scout these guys, I mean, they, all the time. What, what, what's, the, what's the thinking there that basketball is such a global game that you can that you can really plug guys into the NBA in certain yep. types of roles? I was fortunate to be around the best, and they were early in the process of going overseas and, and uh, uh, looking for talent, uh, basketball players. And uh, they've done it consistently. And uh, it just proves that there's 
you know, great basketball, not just here in the States. And um, I love the game and where it's at now. It's growing and the NBA is continuing to, to you know, go to different places, whether it's Africa and India and still search out talent. And uh, it's great to see. Other than those two players, is there anyone on the team whose skill set might be more international or, or those lines have been pretty much better raised? That's a good one. I would say, um, who do you count Andrew as? He's Canadian, so he's that international. Hmm. We'll, throw, we'll throw Andrew in that international bucket. Well, he played college ball in the States. But, uh, Nick played college in the States. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> but does, uh, does Nicholson have any international to his game? I mean, it doesn't look like a lot of, I mean, of course he's not, he doesn't have that style really. I mean, he's more, more of a traditional four. I think his ability to be very, you see uh, crafty individuals, whether it's on the post, you take a look at uh, a, a Tiago Splitter, a, uh, a Luis Scola, guys who will up and under you with scoop shots mm -hmm. with both hands. And so Andrew has that ability to, to do things of that nature. How much do you wish you could hear David and, and Jeff's pronunciation? Without a doubt, I wish they had like a microphone that I could hear what they were talking about back there. <laughs> you want to hear that right now? What do you think they are talking about? Did you like my Luis Scola pronunciation? Was that okay? <laughs> Walter <laughs> Harmon, did I get that right? Airman. I, Airman. Airman. That's not what Manu told me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think it's Airman. Is it Herman? Hair, as in. What's, oh, like hair. Hair. What's, how do you pronounce Evan's last name? Dunlap. Our guy Evan. <laughs> Our guy Evan. I, I'm going with Fournier. Is that right? Fournier. I'm not sure. Fournier. <laughs> he, he told me just to call him Evan. I butchered it so much. He just said, just, Coach, call me Evan. <laughs> uh, they're going to be playing a game where they shortened it. And then you okay. heard this, they're going to short it to 44 minutes. What is your take on? Even though it's an experiment, what is your take on shortening the game? Uh, that experiment? Or are you old school? I'm going to let them figure it out first, and then I'll give you a comment about it. But it's not worth me commenting if they're going to, you know, trial an error, and then use it, not use it. Um, I'll give you my good opinion when they figure it out. Same same start. Start. Probably not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> same starting five tonight? We are not same starting five tonight. We're starting that. I'm going to be good in preseason. John started this in uh, Charlotte right here with these early questions. Hmm. I already tipped you off when I said Willie's going to get some more time. Andrew's going to get some more time. That was like, what is that called when you, when you kind of tip somebody off? Teaser. A little foreshadow. I was teasing. It was a commercial break. We got... Uh, Elford, Willie, Tobias, Andrew, Nick.